There's a hidden but extremely important setting in FL Studio that you should never change. If you do, you could mess up your mixing. There are many myths out there about FL Studio. One of them relates to FL Studio's panning law. You might have heard people say that you need to turn off circular panning law in FL Studio because it'll make your music sound bad. Well, today I'll explain why this might be a really bad idea. All DAWs have some kind of panning law. So what is it exactly? What does it do? Well, as you may have already figured out from its name, it has to do with panning. The thing is, when you pan a sound left or right, you're removing sound from one speaker so that it is now only playing on the other. What the panning law does is to make sure that as you do so, the overall volume of that sound remains the same despite the panning. Why is this important? Let's say you have a closed and open hi-hat playing. You're afraid that the frequencies might clash, so you decide to pan one 10% left and the other 10% right just to avoid any potential problems. You've already spent a lot of time mixing this project to get the volume just right. The highs are in perfect balance with the lows and so on. Now imagine the panning law is off. Before you start panning, approximately 50% of the sound is on the left speaker and 50% is on the right speaker making up 100% of the sound volume, right? As you start panning to the left, the left volume remains constant, but the right volume that has started out at 50% will drop by 10% to 40%. So now you will have 50% on the left speaker, and now you're down to 40% on the right speaker. This will make it sound louder on the left speaker than the right speaker, obviously, because it is now quieter on the right. The problem is, that now the total overall volume of the sound is somewhat lower than it was before you started panning, because you have removed 10% of the volume from the right speaker. This will mess up your mixing, and now you will have to manually increase the volume on the mixer fader to make it sit at the same level as it did before you panned it. Fortunately, FL Studio has circular panning law turned on by default. What it does basically is what you just did manually. As you start panning, it automatically compensates for the lost volume by increasing volume in the same amount as you pan, making the overall volume stay the same. You can pan without having the volume drop. That's all it does. It has absolutely nothing to do with the sound quality whatsoever. In FL Studio, you can choose between circular panning law, which is the default setting, and triangular panning law. Circular panning law will automatically compensate for volume loss as you pan while triangular panning law is basically the same thing as no panning law, and it will not compensate for any volume losses you pan. As you see, it doesn't matter which panning law you choose, it's all about the mixing. I prefer circular panning law myself as it makes life easier for the most part. I find it quite useful when mixing. It means you can pan without having to deal with the volume loss. Less manual work to be done. As you can imagine, it would be a very bad idea to change from one panning law to the other after a project is already mixed down, as this would mess up the volume on all mixer tracks where you have used panning. If you need professional feedback on your music, mastering, and so on, then check out the links below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching.